You're watching Let's Chat. If you or someone you know has been affected by the word stroke, you know how important regular and continuous rehab is when it comes to getting over the effects of a stroke, regardless of your age. Dr. Matthew Ryder is here and he is the medical director of the Stroke Rehab Program at Siskin Hospital. First of all, Dr. Ryder, good morning. Good morning, thank you for having me. Looking at some of the information here that your office sent over, and it seems like we're seeing an uptick in the number of young strokes. This is ischemic strokes, I believe. And these are hitting people that are getting younger and younger and younger all the time. Break that down for us. We do know that the, the rates of hospitalization for stroke have slowly been increasing among young adults. And the reasons for this are not absolutely clear and not everybody agrees on these reasons. Certainly there's the obesity epidemic and the associated risk factors that we all know about, you know, hypertension, diabetes, sleep apnea, high cholesterol, Many of our younger patients are, are just busy living their lives and, and they don't pay as much attention to their health as they should. And then a stroke occurs and their, and their life is turned upside down. Especially here in and around Chattanooga is known in medical circles as the stroke belt. Hopefully you guys will be able to whittle away a lot of those numbers. Tell me what specialized stroke services and treatments that are pretty much exclusive to your program at Siskin. Sure. Siskin Hospital saw the need in this area, and we've, we've worked hard to create a program that, that we're really proud of. All patients who come to, to Siskin for stroke rehab have rehab needs. You know, that many of them have uh, needs in the area of mobility to be able to regain their ability to walk again or to perform activities of daily living like bathing, dressing, and toileting. But while these people have these needs, they also have some other more specialized goals in mind. This might be things like returning to employment. Uh, driving, parenting, uh, even sports and recreation. And we know that strokes in younger people have a, a disproportionately uh, larger impact economically on their families and communities because you're, you're disabling people during the most productive years. And that, in, that can impact patients and families indefinitely. So at, at Siskin, we're the largest inpatient rehab hospital in Tennessee. It's unheard of to have a facility you know, this size in, this, in, a, in a city the size of Chattanooga. But, you know, along with size, quality is important. We've been sure. recognized by, by Newsweek and, and U.S. News and World Report as being among the top 15 percent of rehab centers in the country. And here at here at Siskin, our people, our people are really our biggest asset. And that's why we've been able to achieve this recognition. And so we offer highly specialized treatment programs that pertain to the area of stroke therapists, nurses, psychologists, physicians who subspecialize in the care of patients with stroke rehab needs. And one you know, of the things not... that, that Siskin has always had a stellar reputation for, you're not just treating the stroke patient, you are treating the stroke family because mm -hmm. they're gonna have to take over that support circle when Siskin steps out of the picture. And you guys have been legendary in working with families, telling them this is what you're going to be looking out for. This is something you may see if you do see these things, here's how you handle it. And the whole circle is just kind of getting bigger and a lot more intelligent when it comes to the overall treatment. And that's certainly a direct reflection on what you and your team have brought. Absolutely, absolutely. Family training is a huge portion of our therapy program. And even in the midst of a pandemic, we still come up with creative ways to engage families, train families, educate families, make sure the questions are all answered so they can take lead safely take their loved ones home. Sounds like a plan. And at the end of the day, that's what everyone wants to be able to take their family members safely home. Dr. Matthew Ryder, we have to leave it there, but we do hope you'll come back and join us here over the coming weeks. Find out more about Dr. Ryder and the great, great work he and his team are doing at Siskin. It's only a mouse click away. You can find them through Facebook or any other social media, siskinrehab.org, siskinrehab.org.